All right, I want to respond here to the Young Turks controversy and their deception. And I'm going to prove that they knowingly try to manipulate and deceive their audience, and it's truly disgusting, and it's what's wrong with the mainstream corporate whore media that they've attempted to you know, grovel up next to right as the dinosaur falls down and basically rots to death. And now they're clutching at the man bear pig known con artist uh, Al Gore with his imploding current TV network that literally has almost no viewers. It is a joke. But let me just stop right there. Let me just stop right there. If they're not smart enough to know everybody's running from Al Gore, I, I feel sorry for them. Just go ahead and go down with that sinking ship shows how delusional you are in your whole fake left-right paradigm. I've caught you lying, and I'm going to prove it here in a moment. But before I go there, I want to say something. I've never really put out big articles or hyped up the fact that I have the number one Internet news show, and it just so happens to be alternative, and just so happens to be what they call conspiracy, which means questioning known liars in government and media who've been caught lying to us hundreds of times, being a critical thinker. But I want to be clear about this. It is wrong to even get up there and, and say, I'm better than the Young Turks and I don't like them saying they're the biggest. It's just irritating and, and, and my anger is not even over that. It's the deception of Al Gore and all of it and I've had enough. My radio show, my websites, everything I do is about that infinity of activism and people working together for liberty and freedom against the NDAA, SOPA, the tyranny, the, the World Bank and IMF imploding our planet. The head of the UN announcing world government last week through economic conquest, our country being destroyed, just like the IMF and World Bank have done third world countries in Latin America, Europe and the Middle East, and in Asia, and Africa. I mean, I am upset about this. And I have passion, and you bet I blow up sometimes. This is real for me. I'm not reading off a teleprompter. I'm not going off a script. And it's it's strange, you know, to, to, to see the Rolling Stone and... and uh, New York Magazine and you know, all these publications admit that I've got the biggest, quote, alternative uh, you know, news show out there, and then see other people attacking me when I simply point that out, and engaging in a straw man. Now, I explained in the video that they talk about, Alex Jones' shirtless rant is what they call it. I explained in that video that, now, that, now listen to this carefully. I explained that I've got a whole bunch of YouTube channels and fan channels and that if you combine them all together, it's bigger than the Young Turks. And, and I explained that. Then they go pick one channel with 177 million views and say, oh, that's all his views. That's what they say. And we're beating him. When I was saying it's all my YouTube channels, the 100 plus AM and FMs, the XM, the Global Shortwave, uh, the Alexa numbers on the Internet, all of it, I dwarf them on every front, including YouTube. And I said that. I said that, and they imply that I was trying to lie to my viewers when they're the ones that are lying. So in the near future, I'll actually compile just the YouTube numbers, all of them in one spot, and others, and show you this. But right here is the evidence uh, of their fraud and of their deception of their viewers. Right here. Here is the video uh, where they respond uh, and you know, you know, attack me by making jokes and act like they're the credible ones and everything because they hang out with Al Gore. And then continuing here, here's Alexa.com. It is the major big um, rating system of websites. And you just type in theyoungturks.com in blue there. We can't see it. It doesn't even show up on the graph. Prisonplanet.com in gold, Infowars.com in red. And I got a bunch of other sites bigger than theirs as well. They don't even show up. You've literally got to get a magnifying glass to even see their numbers. Okay, this is what I said in my video. I said, Alexa, all my numbers, everything, I'm the biggest thing on the web that's alternative media, not just what they call conspiracy, okay? So there's the numbers. Go to Alexa.com, run by Amazon, look it up for yourself. That's what I said in my video. Then, look, let me just show you one example. They showed you a channel with 177 million views. Look at this channel, and there's dozens of versions of this. 9,908,000, one video. One video of mine, the Obama deception. This isn't even my channel. There's so many of these, I can't even keep track of them. Look at all these channels. Oh, that video. It's got three and a half million. Oh, this one's got two million, one hundred thousand. Oh, this one's got 2.9 million. Oh, look down here. I mean, it just goes on and on. So many thousands of pages with millions of views, 800,000 views. I can't even keep track of it. Okay, so now, Young Turks, I know that you're not just buffoons. You're deceivers. Because in my video... 
I sat there and explained why I was bigger than you, which is even shameful. It's pointless. You know what? For me, getting bigger is dangerous. Okay, I get the death threats. I get all the other stuff happening. I don't even want that. It's just irritating to see fakes like you posing as an alternative media and lying that you're the biggest thing in the world when you're full of crap and you've just proven it again, lying to your viewers. It is about the people out there waking up to the tricks and deceptions of people like you and Al Gore and Mitt Romney and all these establishment whores who have the very same mega bank backers. I love our country, I love this world, and I love the people out there that understand what's happening. And I'm going to wake up those that are deceived by the scams and parlor tricks that people like you run. I thought you were just young turds. I thought you were just stupid. I remember I talked about the CPS taking people's kids without due process a few years ago. You said I was nuts. What's the CPS? And then you later went, oh, my wife's one of those. She's a child protective services. Duh. I mean, maybe you are just stupid. Maybe one of your interns showed you this and you wanted to believe you had more views than me on YouTube. My only problem is it would take me days to compile all the videos with millions of views. Just everywhere, grassroots exploding everywhere. One fan site, 177 mil, another with 80 mil, 100 mil, 20 mil, 50 mil, 10 mil. And you're over there. It's just, I just showed you Alexa. You don't even show up. Limbaugh, I'm bigger than Limbaugh. I'm bigger than the entire MSNBC's website. MSNBC.com, I should have showed you that. Everybody go to Alexa and look for yourselves and know they're liars. MSNBC's down here. Infowars is up here. And then Drudge is up here. Only thing bigger than me is Drudge. You got that? You understand that? You got it through your lion stinking head? And, and what does my success show? It shows people are hungry for the truth. They're hungry for teleprompter free. Make me want to throw up how you deceive your people. I bet you won't show this, or you'll show it out of context, won't you? Hoping your audience is stupid and doesn't know what's going on, you deceivers. You've been exposed. Everybody get this video out on these Al Gore scum. God bless you all.